Hello, scribes. I hope everyone is on their writer A-game lately. If not, I've got something for you in this video. Today, I want to talk to you about websites I really can't live without. There are five websites that I'm truly hooked on. They provide me so much information and each really has its own function for me as a writer. And stay tuned at the end because I've got one more for writers who not only write scripts, but books. Screencraft. I use ScreenCraft for multiple reasons. If you don't know ScreenCraft, they host competitions for screenwriting by genre and writing format, meaning that they also now do competitions for cinematic books and podcasts. They host many screenwriters as bloggers who put out amazing articles about writing. A few of them I've referenced for my videos. And even better, they have cheaper short form classes to help you through writing. I personally applied to competitions through them, received feedback from them, which you can purchase in different packages combined with the actual competition or just on its own as a standalone thing. You may have remembered that I mentioned I'd taken the Develop Your Horror Story in 15 Days course, which I loved. But honestly, from then, I don't think I've had a bad experience with them on anything except winning. I mean, what's that about ScreenCraft? I'm screenwriting gold. If you haven't been to the site, I suggest you head over. They have lots of blog posts and also have a bunch of opportunities to download award-winning scripts, which they put out actually every time there's an award ceremony that's come around. But after this video, Writer's Store. Honestly, I can't go without mentioning this treasure of a website. It's been there for me for my entire writing career. The Writer's Store is known for selling writing books of all kinds, as well as some free books that you should check out. And who doesn't love freebies? They've also got courses and occasionally free video events. All in all, this is still one worth keeping up with. Books are always gonna be in there that are new to the industry and worth reading, and you're gonna be able to buy software if you're more of a serious writer filmmaker who needs budgeting software and call sheets. Coverfly, my new favorite place for all things competitions, fellowship, and now feedback. Coverfly used to be just a space for replying to multiple competitions under one account that you could basically track the results with, which was really cool in its own. Now it's a magnetic screenwriters hub that has its own list of highly qualified screenwriters that get writing assignments on what's called the red list. It's like the blacklist, but driven by competition. Every time you win, your score goes up. Competitions range from free to $100 and are sourced through partner websites, the ones that are actually running the competition and the fellowships. So this means you can place on the list where agents and managers can go over your projects and see what might work for them. This can also land you writing assignments, again, like I mentioned before. And while I am drawn to that, I know that the most important things for me are finding fellowships rather than competitions, but also feedback. And Coverfly offers a feedback service, which is peer-to-peer. -peer. So anyone interested in reading your script is able to. For me, this means that someone who's interested and piked with my logline would be my target audience. They can read it. You need those people to read it. It offers insight on what you're doing right and what you can change to leave the reader happy. Just a side note, Coverfly X, the peer-to-peer -peer feedback includes people of all levels of screenwriting. So even though you get to read theirs, rack up coins for them to read yours, and you get this really good outline of coverage on your script, it just means that you're going to get the people from beginner to advanced. So remember that you do need to rack up coins by reading and offering feedback to other scripts that are available in the database to then get feedback for your own. Remember to exercise good use of feedback, which I'll link you to here because I've already done a video on that. BBC Writer's Room. For my UK and Northern Ireland scribes, there's something here for you too. Of course, don't go anywhere US scribes because they offer so much on this BBC site that it could be used to our benefit. The BBC Writer's Room offers a place where they can receive applications to join their development programs, such as Drama Writer's Room and Comedy Writer's Room, which is really great in my opinion because they actually offer quite a bit of development, particularly for the younger screenwriters, aged 16 and up. I love that they offer so much for young writers. I've been following them since I was a teenager. There's information about treatments and outlines, links to their podcasts. It's not open to US residents to apply for those fellowships, but 
For the rest of us, there's a great script library of UK-based TV shows and even some movie scripts, all available for free to download. So if you're a Whovian, you'd better get downloading those Doctor Who scripts so you can start specking. Sundance Collab. Lastly, and the one I've used as much as I've felt my confidence writing and growing is Sundance Collab. We all know that Sundance is prestigious for a reason. They want vetted and ready writers, but that doesn't mean all writers aren't welcome. At this time in 2020, we're able to attend a few master classes for free, as well as some events. And the other thing I love about the courses are that they offer everything online. There are a variety of courses that they have, including screenwriting through every act, crafting your pilot, crafting your pilot, screenwriting for particular genres such as horror, as well as directing, producing, and other great courses. These courses are not exactly screen craft prices, but more in the $200 to $600 range. And something I found out recently was that they offer scholarships for each course that you can apply to if you have a financial hardship. Applying for these courses, I should also note, this is Sundance. You must fill out an application for their limited student courses, sometimes submitting writing samples. Sundance offers many benefits to their website though, making them a great choice for advanced writers. I hope you check out these sites if you already haven't. If you have, let me know how you like them, what has worked for you through these sites, and what features did you want me to cover that I didn't cover? If you haven't been to them once you've gone, come back and let me know what you thought. Now onto my bonus website, NaNoWriMo. I recommend this site to writers because I know personally, I recommend this site to writers because I know personally I've always wanted to write a book as well. I think that as creatives we generally want to do more than one creative piece of writing, so this site can help you with information on writing and forms for writers to build a community and prep articles for outlining for the annual and seasonal writing months and camps. You can join in on the fun of preparing your stories together. As well, there are many screenwriting books focusing on story structure, which applies to book structure. It's all just a story. So check out this website and the challenge of National Novel Writing Month, which happens every year in November, and soak in the extra and free advice on cultivating your story. Using it year round can benefit you. It's keeping tally of your word counts for your writing projects, gives you exercises and goals to hit, and lets you progress and see that you've been progressing on your challenge when you're writing your novels. Data helps, and this is a great place to start exploring your novel writing projects and how to strengthen knocking out 50,000 words. No biggie. If you want to know more about NaNoWriMo, check out this video, Later Scribes, 